Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm joined here by Shuffleverse, and of course, I'm Matthias Talbot, also known as Matthias, host for today. And we're moving on in the NACE Rocket League playoffs. And just to start things out, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling really great, thank you. That's great. Good to hear. So your opponent for today is going to be Illinois State University. They're pretty much on your same level. I think you guys went 7-0 and in the regular season. They yeah. pretty much had a flawless run. You're continuing that in the playoffs. You know, Illinois, Illinois State, they went 5-2. and two, Not the best start to their series. I think they started out with a loss or two. And I think they lost you guys, if my yeah, they did. is correctly. So that was a few months ago. You uh, 3 0 them. It was an absolute sweep. But now, I think it was a few weeks ago, I just checked, uh, in CRL, you guys lost 2-1. So, how are you feeling going into this next match? Uh, we're feeling great. We've been practicing a lot. Of course, screaming and spending a lot of time like developing a, a new game plan. And today, there is going to be a little news. <laughs> Baris is going to play for us for the first time. Yeah, so Baris is going to play. That's very exciting. How are you going to try and adapt to that? What does he bring to the table that's different? He's bringing a lot of speed, a lot of just like... Uh, Demo chase gameplay and stuff <laughs> yeah. like he's just very ignorant in the way he plays, but it works. It works. It so works, it works. Hey, if it works, it works. Yeah, yeah. He's still a good player, so we trust on him. Like, so how are you expecting this to go? If you had to give a scoreline, it was three zero the first time. CRL, you don't have that time to adapt. It was two one. So, how do you think this one's going to shape up? If you had to guess, mm. be totally honest here. We feel confident enough. Okay. So I'd say like three one. If it's three, close, one. three two for us. Okay. Okay. Three two. You think you'll ever be put in a reverse sweep situation? You're gonna come out of the gate swing. I think we might have struggled in the first game, but then we will recover and just like go through. All right. Thank you very much for joining us here. I'm thank you. Thank you. you. And I'm gonna. We're gonna throw it to a very quick break, and I'll have Theo back on the mic. <laughs> Like I said, a very short break, and I'm here with Theo Ivanum himself, the Holy Juan. You heard what Shuffleverse had to say. What yeah. do you have to say? I mean, seemed very confident going uh, into this matchup today. You know, as you said, a perfect season, have been good so far through the playoffs, but I see a team that has shown a bit of resistance. You know, they did uh, lose to them earlier in the season. So I'm expecting a good, good matchup, but yeah, the Saints feeling confident, expecting them to win today. I'm expecting them to win as well. I mean, if you're going to have a flawless season, you're not going to lose now, especially Illinois State University. You've beaten them before, so it would be a big upset for the Saints themselves. But let's take a look at that bracket run we had them go through. Okay, you can definitely tell on this side there's a lot of stacked teams here. St. Clair first had to beat Yo, Miss Rocket League. That was a 3-1. Now we're here at Illinois State University. If the math is correct, if this is a linear continuation, Looking to be it. Yeah, it's looking to be the case. Illinois had a pretty good uh, playoff run as well. First round, my view, and been FFs, and then second round, 3 0 against the 11 seed. So the 2 and 3 seed on the bottom side of the bracket, on the top side, Maryville and Akron, the winner of that one, will be playing the winner of this one. So high stakes. Everyone wants to get to the grand finals and lift the trophy. Yeah, I'm really excited. If the Saints win this game today, I'm really excited. To see the game they have with Maryville and Akron. I mean, those are two very heavy hitters of teams, and it's, I don't want to say lucky for the Saints, but it's lucky that the Saints won't have to deal with both of those teams on their side of the bracket. Mm -hmm. We have to deal with one. We're going to have to deal with the stronger one at the end of the day, which is... Yeah, I mean, ISU definitely very, very strong team, so it's not going to be a cakewalk or anything. I mean, it is the semifinals, the best of the best. You saw the top four seeds are in the top four, so, you know, the best teams have been showing why they are the best and definitely going to expect that pace to keep up. But uh, Saints, you know, they are the two seeds, so they are slightly, slightly favored, and, you know, they definitely feel that way, and you could see why. Definitely. 
a Y. And you no know, weird shovel versus yes. I think it's going to be a three two. I'm very confident in them. But with the addition of Barris, I feel like they're going to have to try and get their bearings, try and adapt Absolutely. a little bit more. What do you think? You think? I mean, I still want to take the Saints. I'm going to take them three two one. Um, as Shuffleverse said, they might get off to a little bit of a slower start. And, you know, first game, we see that from them sometimes. Uh, sometimes they come out the gates pretty slow. But once they get into a rhythm, once they start playing a little bit and start communicating well, start playing solid Rocket League, that's when they really hit their peak. So uh, if they come out the gates swinging, I wouldn't be too, too worried. But if they go down two games early on, then th there could be some danger. And, of course, let's take up here at the cam, the players, of course, the lineup for Day is going to be Jazzy embarrassed over there in the corner and I'm so sorry this is going to be very embarrassing uh, but both of those players look very similar and because of the monitor I cannot quite tell <laughs> which of the two it is so unfortunately I can't quite say but I know he's very consistent <laughs> yeah absolutely and you, know, you can see the Saints they are pretty locked in getting ready for the match and no, just calming, making sure they're all on the same page. And you know, that's very important a game like Rock League, especially with a bit of a newer addition, Barris. It's definitely going to be important that their communication is top, top level and that uh, everything they do, they need to be on the same page. I'm very confident, Barris, though. They've been together, all four of them, for a long time. Even if they're yeah. not playing together, they're always hanging out together. I think all of them are from Europe some way or another, <laughs> some part over there. So they have that brotherhood tying them together. Yeah. I think that bond will carry them regardless. Yeah, absolutely. And Sharpleverse is their head coach. He was playing here and there, but now back into his comfort zone. So uh, this is back to kind of the starting roster that came here to St. Clair. They're ready to show why they are one of the top, top teams in Rocket League. And, you know, with a victory today, a victory, uh, their next matchup, they could solidify that statement. They will, I think they will, Theo. But now, getting down to it, Illinois State University, they are adaptable. You've got to be worrying if they're more adaptable than this. You know, they didn't have a great start to the season, but they finished really strong. They're on that five, seven, seven win streak. If yep. the Saints are on a nine win streak, they're on a seven win streak. Lost two games earlier on, but they won the last game against them. It was 2-1, to be fair. But I was taking a look at the past of VOD, that last third game that they won, I think it, they just blew them out of the park <laughs> with that one. It was like six to two or something that's not, insane. That's good. Got to be, got to be a little bit worried here. Yeah, I mean, uh, a team like the Saints, are very strong defensively. I mean, if they're allowing six goals to ISU, there's definitely some some worry there for the Saints. I feel like, but. I think today they're going to be as locked in as ever. And wow. speaking of locked in, instantly off of the bat, an early goal for <laughs> Fab. So I believe, I mean, that's a great start, and that's going to be a great confidence boost to begin the series. Confidence. Indeed. I mean, it's a one and oh. Putting everything we said to shame at the start, we said that might be a little bit of a slow start, but they're just coming out of the gate swinging. Yeah, they are. And the lineup here for Illinois State University is going to be Cosmic, No Mansion, and CG. So six players on the battlefield, which three are going to come out on top in his huge, huge series. Jazzy trying to take it into the net. A nice save there from Cosmic. Doesn't let Saints double their lead. Fab, so going to pass towards the middle. No mansions there, but Jazzy plays it out of the air. He's going to pass it down to Fab, so Fab, so taps it in front of the net. A good save from CG, but the fall here is from Jazzy. Cosmic wins a nice 50. That's going to be Illinois on the attack. Back in their own relenting, but the Saints are just going to get the counterattack here. Carry it down the field. Jazzy going in with the disruption. My state job at playing but point here and it looks like they're trying to slip it past the Saints confuse them a little oh. bit bounce it around the town and no mansion <laughs> gets the score not too sure what happened there for the side of the Saints feel like they had that defense on lockdown but Fab so just misses that one and that's an easy goal for ISU it just drops her in front of the net it's a gift and now we're back to even even fields great passing play by Illinois bounced all the round in and out of the Corners here off the wall, but it looks like off the ceiling is going to be Barris trying to carry it in. Yeah, no mention going to take control of this one. Passes it back. Cosmic is there for the follow-up. Fab, so 
Trying to clear it out. Is able to do so. Gets it to Jazzy. And yet again, St. Clair catches ISU sleeping from another goal from their half. Just one simple pass from Fab. So, and, I mean, ISU definitely have to pick it up defensively. And allowing mistakes like this over and over, especially against a team like the Saints, definitely won't, uh, won't end well for them. Well, but right now the Saints take a oh. bigger lead, maybe even taking an even wider margin here off the top, off the corner. Jazzy trying to make something happen here. The freeform Jazz isn't going to work out, but it ends Cosmic's reign right now. Going back to Barris and see. Yeah, it's going to be in the corner, but Saints aren't able to get too much going that one. Jazzy trying to take it in the air, no mansion. Gets a pretty easy clearance. Cosmic going to go for this 50, gets the better end of that one. Fabso, though, was a, with a quite easy save, tries to take it over CG, but the defense is there. Two minutes gone now in this game. Two goals for the Saints, one for ISU. Bit of a slow start for both teams, though, as CG goes for a shot, but the save is there from Barrist. As now Jazzy's going to clear it out. Barrist in the corner, trying to get a pass towards a teammate here. Is anyone there? There's a bump onto No Mansion. Fabso flies through, but just is not able to get on top of that one. A great chance for the Saints, but ISU's defense prevails. Failing Barrist, taking out CG. Demo, Cosmic, the charge. Well, his Fallen Brothers down. Going to be St. Clair taking it right back into their hands. CG playing it, trying to put it down. It's right in front of the neck, but there's no one to follow it up. It's no Mansion. Roll the ball once again. We're over halfway through the match, folks. And right now, Illinois State just needs one more goal. The Saints looking to widen that margin just a little bit, but it might not be the case as it looks like Illinois State is taking it downfield. And still, Illinois State trying to get these high shots, these tricky shots, drop the Saints, but it's not quite working here. That ball playing the defense, but they have enough momentum. But Cosmic is there to show. Yeah, and here's going to be a shot on target. Jazzy on the goal line. We'll be able to find the clear. And there is Barris for the backup. Now Saints maybe have a counterattack of their own. No, it's going to be cleared out. But a golden opportunity there for ISU. And a hero save there coming out from the Saints. As now Fabso tries to fly in. Cosmic is there for the save. But only a minute 40 ticking and ticking here. And the Saints have full control of the ball. Looking to get it right to Barris. That's a shot on target. A nice save from Cosmic. But beautiful passing play there from the Saints to set themselves up. Now it's going to be Jazzy trying to set up himself. It goes around one. The demo is there. But it's going to be hit out by a member of the Saints. And there is Barris to follow up. Almost a bit of a mistake there. But a beautiful team goal from the Saints. Fab so passes it back so no man she can't clear it. And Barris finds the finish. Find the finish. And now the Saints stretching even a further goal lead. One minute, 19 seconds remaining. Not impossible for back now a very tough road let up off the gas oh. for a second it's not going to go their way but oh. not they're continuing <laughs> trying to hammer in here Jazzy flew in out of nowhere, just couldn't get the right angle there. But still a two-goal lead, and it's the Saints on the attack. ISU just have no room to breathe with as Jazzy going to go for a shot here. It's going to be saved out by CG. Still, Saints need to play good Rocket League here to not get too, too silly and give away this lead. Almost another goal coming in from Bears there, but a good save from CG. Illinois State still showing some alive, but St. Clair just kind of need to keep this ball away from danger, and the danger is their net, and that's exactly what they're trying to do. They cleared out 30 seconds and taking Jazzy, going to go for a pass to a teammate. Nobody is there for the follow. The defense is going to be back just in a time. Fab, so nobody in front of him looking to drop it off to Jazzy. The angle is just not right, but with 20 seconds and ticking, looks like St. Clair are going to be taking this first game, and Quite, uh, quite handily they do so. They were definitely the more aggressive team. Had a lot more dangerous chances. And, uh, you know, it's a great start to the series for them. Considering the fact that Shuffleverse said they might even start out slow. If this is what starting off slow is like, this is going to be a very dominant series for the Saints. Very <laughs> dominant start for the Saints. As you can tell, look how electric they're feeling right now. The energy's flowing. They're expecting a slow start. They're even doing... Better than their own estimations here. One to three. That's, they're not beating them by a single point. They're beating them by two. Especially when the last time they played was unfortunately a loss. And, you know, it was mainly Jazzy and Fabso finding those crazy setups, crazy goals. Barristers there bringing the demos for the opening up for 
team. And now I do have to emphasize here, folks, that if they do win this one, they will be heading to the NACE finals this year. Yeah, I mean, it's the semifinals, the four best teams left remaining, and if they are able to make it through. That'd be a huge, huge win for them. But we are getting underway in the second game. I want to say a few... A few mistakes that definitely should have happened from ISU on those long-range goals from the Saints. I mean, if they can just clean that up, this series is going to be very, very, very tight as both teams are very evenly matched. But St. Clair seem like they are a bit more upbeat, up pace. They're able to get into ISU's territory and really cause havoc. But start off the second game, no early goals coming through this year. So big commit there. Be hard to come back from that one. Just nobody for the same for counter attack. Off the wall, causing him to get a demo from that attack right now. No Manchin moving in for a goal of his own. Gonna get disrupted by the Saints, but he still gets it close to the goal that he's gonna clear. Yeah, no boost left, so the attack is kind of slowed down there. The how much boost rather team have, so does have a hundred boost, but we're gonna look to take on no Manchin. Who is there for the defense but Jazzy with 40 boost can maybe make something happen keeps it there still there's no mansion with the clearance finally puts out on the big 50 which slows down the Saints as now needs to rush back to their own half half so looking to take that challenge isn't going to be able to win it but Jazzy there for the backup tries to get a follow-up touch but doesn't get it it's going to be ISU in control yet again much more slow paced second game, not too many dangerous opportunities. There was a dangerous opportunity right there. The save was there from Jazzy. Another demo from ISU is they're just every time they demo the Saints, they kinda of stop the moment. So now looking to start the attack, but he's going to drop right between below his uh, car. Won't be able to get a touch there, but still St. Clair, after a bit of a, a couple of rough defensive possessions, they're going to be able to keep the ball out of the net. Almost a goal there from Cosmic, very dangerous. And ISU have definitely turned it up in this second game. They are having a lot of opportunities and shots on target. Here's going to be one more dangerous opportunity. Cosmic looking to leave it for a teammate. Bears gets up there, gets the challenge. Jazzy is able to clear it out. St. Clair holding on, but how much longer could they hold on with all this pressure coming from ISU? They got no boost right now. It's just Jazzy with the boost. They finally got a refuel here. It's looking dangerous, though. As the oh! On the temple, but that's a good schlob by Fabso there into the net. Almost getting it in there. Not going, though. CG going to get a big counterattack. And that's an easy goal for CG. St. Clair, you can tell when they ran out of boost and they all went to reset, something was bound to go wrong. And that's just great play from ISU. They're going to take the victory there and the, the, the victory the goal and they, <laughs> they, 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 they look to take the victory in the second game <laughs> they do I, I mean after such a long stand so it kind of feels like they took the entire game right there especially when they're still amping up the bread with the saints now time is of the essence you have two minutes to get one goal that's enough time to do it but if the saints get one more i think that's gonna be it yeah i mean this is this second game is way more tight and nice you have definitely cut down on their mistakes wow. but raise we say that fabso gets a goal that was beautiful team play from the saints here fabso passes it up there is Barris. no mansion tries to get a save doesn't get the best touch ever and a very nice opportunity for the saints they instantly take and they pounce on any mistake they see it was like a three-peat on that goal. It was one, two, three. Yeah. Everybody had a touch there, just hammering it home, not letting it up off the gas. Now we're back to a tie game here, folks. We only really have a minute 40 left on the clock. I wouldn't be surprised if this one goes to an overtime, but I have a feeling this is a just enough time where one team might get the advantage. Yeah, overtime definitely looking likely, but it looks like St. Clair do not want that to happen. Barris looks to take it over CG. There's a shot on target from Fab, so, but the save is there from Cosmic. But now it's the Saints who've got a bit of momentum. Now they're the ones putting on the pressure. They get a demo, but the counter demo, another demo. Three demos come through there. Barris finds a save onto CG there. It's only CG, so he's going to choose 
not to put too, too much pressure on it. Says Bears looks for the clear. CG is with the ball again. It's a one on one. Jazzy finds the demo, no but way. misses the ball. And no man, Shin just gonna swoop in there. Picks up a very, very easy goal. That's just oh. for Jazzy. He was in the right place, right time. Couldn't touch it, just barely off center there. Now with a one minute on the clock. This is looking dicey for the main player. It's either overtime or bust for them. You don't want to be going down a game, especially when you're this close to the finals. You're already up one game. You want to be on that series point by now. Up in the air, the lob comes through. Barris trying to break those axles and make his way on through here. Babso going for a big shot down oh. up below. It's a good setup, but no one's there to follow up. That was a golden opportunity. The ball just ended up right in front of the net, but Nobody from the Saints was there. Now 30 seconds and tick. I mean, ISU just need to hold on with everything they have here. Jazzy looking to start the attack. Cosmic is there on the save as now ball going to get hit up to the air. Fabso finds a nice deflect there. Off target is that shot, but ISU just need to defend for 15 more seconds. One final push here. Can anyone follow up that pass from Yo! Jazzy? There it is coming from Barris in the dying seconds. I mean, what a play <laughs> by Jazzy making that happen, winning out that 50, and then Bears with a beautiful <laughs> follow-up ties the game up at two. Everyone going for that last dunk, reaching for the ball, reaching <laughs> for control, but to Bears to spike it down in the goal. That was absolutely amazing. And now the Saints, they just have to hold on for five more <laughs> seconds. I mean, they could put the nail in the coffin right here, right now, if they really want to. But I have a feeling this ball is going to touch the ground. Yeah, overtime looking likely, but Jazzy with a pass to Fab, so nothing there for the Saints of Bears. Not going to look to let it drop. They want to end the game right here in regular time, but it is going to fall down. Game two is going to be going to overtime, and one goal will give either team a victory here. Jazzy almost had a great shot there, but has a great shot on target. What a save, Ooh. though, from CG. The follow-up isn't there from the Saints. That's a huge save to keep ISU in this game and not give St. Clair a 2-0 lead. Now Jazzy gonna look to start the attack. No mansion misses onto that one. Paris takes it around two defenders. The shot's just off target. The save is there from no mansion. No! But Jazzy puts her right in to the bottom left corner. <laughs> Beautiful pressure there from St. Clair. They come back in the last 10 seconds to push it to overtime. And now they take a 2-0 lead in the series. 2-0 lead in the series, and it just seems like the stars are aligned. They're tripping <laughs> over. Nice <laughs> old man carrying. He's carrying the team He's on his back the there. But honestly, absolutely amazing gameplay from the green team. I've never seen them push their limits like this, <laughs> and it's fantastic to see the payoff. Absolutely. Now, they shouldn't get overconfident. Yes, you are up 2-0. You just won a game where... Maybe you shouldn't have even been in the yeah. situation to get to overtime, but such beautiful play in the clutch got them there, and now they're up to zero. They need to stay focused. You asked a question. Do you see yourself being in a reverse sweep situation? You asked Shuffleverse. said, I don't think so, but now they're in this situation. So hopefully, I mean, hopefully they're prepared. Only one more game is all they need to get to the grand finals. Yeah, they're here looking to sweep this oh. game after. Oh, what are they again? doing? What happened again? when they lost? Barris, the new addition. Just absolutely meshing with the team, finding the speed off the kickoff and over the top of CG's hood, just sinking it in. Three seconds in. Three seconds in. That, that is the quickest goal I've ever seen of the Saints <laughs> score. I mean, what a time to do it. Barris coming back at just the right time, giving the Saints the spark they need. And now Jazzy looking to double that lead. All three members from ISU forced to defend us. They look, they are falling apart here. CG makes a crucial save to keep the game at only 1-0. That could have really started to blow things up if that one went in. Now St. Clair have the lead. You know, I, I think they're definitely not 100% certain that this one goal lead is everything they need to win. So I'm 90 100% sure they're going to be pushing for a second as that's exactly what they're looking. Barris gets it to drop right in front of the net. Unlucky touch though. That was another golden opportunity for the Saints. Going to need to start cashing in these because against a team like ISU, one mistake is all it takes. And off of that mistake, they find a beautiful team goal tied up at one apiece very quickly. Yeah, I think they took that early goal as a barrier to try and do some fancy things. But now they're going to buckle down and try and drag this in the hole.
Well, they are missing these big opportunities. St. Clair are getting and making yeah. these really good opportunities. That's what you need at this level of Rocket League. You're not going to be dunking it every single game. Definitely wanting to try and line up the proper shot every single time. No mansion went for a shot there. It was saved away by Barris. CG loses it out in the air there. Jazzy looking to take it around. No mansion gets it into the corner. Gives Saints some room to work with, but CG gets back quickly. Plays good defense here. Gets it out. Cosmic takes over Fab, so only Jazzy left to defend. One on two situation. Beautiful near post save there. Is able to keep the Saints tied up by one apiece. Now they look to break quickly on the counter, but no mansion. Beautiful defense there. The uh, CG will be there to touch it as well as it's going to be another opportunity here for the side of ISU. They get a shot just off target, but these counterattacks are looking very deadly from the blue team. Very deadly. Either right now, Cosmic. Get it off my side. I gotta say, that could have been a nasty touch from Fab, so not quite, but they're still going to keep him. Jazzy looks for it. Shot on target, but doesn't get the right for trigonometry there. Won't be we're near the goal into the corner where ISU control it, but maybe playing around their back is a bit too dangerous. Jazzy finds a big touch there, Fab, so looks to knock it down to a teammate. But Cosmic, full, calm, and collected under pressure, able to make that one out. That shot just off target, luckily for the Saints, could have been a dangerous opportunity. But now Fabso takes it over one. I don't know if there's the gonna be anyone carry. back to defend it, Fabso. Beautiful solo goal, trying to push his team to the grand final, no mansion, no match there for Fabso's play. And Saints yet again take a one goal lead. Through a wedding through the air there, carrying it down in a beautiful spiral. I've never seen such a graceful air carry. No one able to touch him. Sends the Saints into a lead, 2-1. Can't get comfortable here, Illinois State. Oh. Coming out with a vengeance here, almost getting a shot on the goal. Fabso with the clear CG, trying to get some boost right back. Not able to do so, but no, nevertheless, the Saints trying to get the offense back on their side. Yeah, ISU, after they give up goals, I mean, they push and they push hard. But here is another chance for Bearist. Gets the shot just off target. Another dangerous opportunity for the Saints. Jazzy going to take it around one, passes it off of the crossbar there. Fab, so it looks to get it back into the middle. CG will be there for the clearance. Saints are two minutes away from taking this series so let's see how they can perform when the pressure's on the most they get into the corner fab so with another 50 there that's gonna be cg forced to let a little of time but just drops it off jazzy his shot's just off target fab so <laughs> looking to follow up barris will have a touch is anyone gonna be able to follow barris puts it on target no mansion there with the save on the line another great chance for the saints a demo comes through to slow down the attack of isu but still a lot more defense is gonna be needed here jazzy beautiful control right in front of the net gets it down to the corner saints a minute 30 away from getting to the grand finals a minute 30 away, getting the boost, getting in position. They're just keep on hammering this towards ISU's net. Right now, down oh. and out. Look at oh. Fabso sweeping in there, trying to get something Fabso. with Jazzy there. Can't quite hammer it home, but it doesn't matter. They're just amping up the pressure. Illinois State just feeling all the nerves at once here. Yeah, I mean, definitely feeling a lot of nerves here. A minute left. I assume they don't find a goal, their season is over. And St. Clair, I mean, they are full on aggressive here. But now need to play good defense. Fabso gets the goal line save, keeps the Saints ahead, one to zero. They find the clearance. I mean, ISU are gonna have to find uh, some miracle here to bring this one back. St. Clair firing on all cylinders. Can Fabso win out on this 50? No, it's gonna be Cosmic actually winning on that one. Barris doesn't find the clearance oh, there. Wow. And there is the miracle. No mansion just flies in and ties it up. Ties it up, 40 seconds left on the clock. This is enough time for one more goal. Just a few small misses there. Spelled the end for St. Clair's guaranteed win. But this is either, in my guesstimate, going to an overtime. Uh -oh. or gonna be no, Barris, the Barris! Oh. Don't get the back oh. Oh. oh my god, Barris with another kickoff. Gets what? it to two, to three with 40 seconds. <laughs> that was a two second goal. He's beaten oh his record. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Barrist, what are we seeing in the potentially last game of the series? Puts them again through two with four seconds to go. Now let's make sure the St. Clair doesn't give up a goal off kickoff. Fabso will pass one 
ba that one back to Jazzy as the clearance comes through. 30 seconds and ticking now for ISU. Barris going to be the one to start the attack here for St. Clair. If they can get themselves one more, that's going to be all she wrote. Jazzy going to take it around his defender. No mansion is there for the save, but there is the follow-up from Fab. So you can see he just backs up, knows he doesn't need to go too, too aggressive. They have the lead. Saints, one more defensive stop away from closing out the series. They get the ball in a dangerous position. The shot comes through from wow. Jazzy, and that should be all she wrote. St. Clair take a 4-2 lead as they look to close out the series. Looking to close out the series. Seven seconds left on the clock, and unless Illinois State University has a barrister of their own on their team <laughs> to get two back-to-back two-second goals, I don't think that's very likely here. The double demo comes through. It's all on the line. Jazzy trying to get this over the line. One second left. It touches the ground. And St. Clair takes it and makes it to the finals here. Let's go. I'm so excited to see what happens next. Only more. No, I can't, I'm not a loss for words here. <laughs> I got, I'm going to be completely honest. That is worthy of a dance. Two back-to-back second goals to win the series i mean that was that was, that was the best rocket league i've ever seen that was that was a crazy finish definitely <laughs> not what you would expect but two kickoff goals is what gave the saints the win in that one and you know a good series from them isu put up a very very valiant effort a couple of different uh, things here and there and the series could be in a completely different place so um gotta give your hats off to isu who did put on a good performance but they do fall short your saints are going to be in the grand finals trying to play for it all. Playing for it all. They're going for it. Going all the way. But I think that's enough from us. I'd like to hear from Barris himself. I'm going to go try and get him <laughs> in here for an interview. And we'll see you guys right after a break. Hello, everybody, and I'm back. Matthias Talbot here with Barris himself. That was an immaculate game. What are your initial thoughts after that game? Mm, that we are just really, really good, and we deserve <laughs> to be where we are in the Grand Finals. I definitely have to agree. That was one of the most exciting, one of the most impressive games of Rocket League I've had the joy of seeing. There was just so many clean, clippable moments from that game, and I got to say, those two kickoffs, how were you feeling after you got the first one? And then how were you feeling after you got the second follow-up? Well, I, like, I, there are so many teams that do those kickoffs, uh, and every time the ball is there, I'm, I don't know why, I just score. <laughs> I, just, oh, I don't understand if they are just slow to get on the ball or if I'm just the best ones player ever. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be the latter. I think you're getting up there, bro. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I mean... It's also a little bit of luck, I think, but I mean, we take those. We do take those. That was absolutely amazing. And now you've gotten here. Your next opponent is either going to be Akron or Maryville. How are you feeling about that? Uh, those are probably the best two teams remaining yeah. in the tournament. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I rate them slightly higher than, than Illinois, mm -hmm. but... The difference is not that much. I mean, if we won against the 3-0 against Illinois, we can definitely win in a best of seven again. One of those. 
Exactly. Well, we'll see you next week. Or I think this weekend, actually. Yeah, so good Sunday. luck to you. Thank you very much for joining me here on the desk. I'm going to close you. things out. Thank you to our sponsors, Alienware, Tim Hortons, Subway, St. Clair SOC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. If you like Rocket League, make sure to tune in this weekend for the finals.